platforms like Bubble are pretty freaking awesome. They let anyone without a technical background create completely custom apps on their own. Bubble has over 2 million users at this point. And think about all the users on all of the other no-code tools and platforms out there as well. There are a ton of people using no-code tools. So the question is, why aren't there even more success stories with no-code apps? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today because the reality is there's often a missing key or some missing pieces in the process. And we're going to deep dive into some often ignored essentials for going from idea to first users with your no-code app. Now, make sure you stick around until the end because we also have an extended free training that will help you take the next steps with your no-code app and make sure you launch with success. It's Kristen over at Coaching No Code Apps. We help non-technical entrepreneurs build custom apps so they can start their app-based businesses or grow their existing businesses all without coding. And if that's what you're wanting to do, then subscribe to this channel. We release new videos every single week to help you do just that. So let's jump into five keys to launching your first bubble app or no code app in general. The first key is to understand that the tool is not the only solution. I mean, when you look through Bubble's own landing page, you can get an idea for what the product is capable of. And it's capable of a whole lot. But even so, Bubble cannot be the only solution that will carry you towards success. You know, if you think about what any product or service or tech tool is designed to do, in reality, it's designed to take you from having a pain point or a problem and then take you through a transformative process of using the tool or the service or the product and spitting you out on the other end so that you can achieve the desired outcome that you're looking for. So right now you're stepping into the no code space and you have pain points that you're experiencing. You are likely in a job or a career where you feel like you are maybe maxed out on your potential. You know you're capable of more. Uh, maybe you want more control over your schedule, your income, your career. You want more flexibility. Maybe you just want to grow something of your own and you're experiencing all of these pain points associated with that. You want an outcome. Right? You want to have your own app-based business or maybe just a more scalable business by creating an app. You have the problem and the pain points and you have that outcome that you're after. So Bubble fits in the middle or no-code tools in general. They fit in the middle because they're going to take you through this transformative process to achieve the outcome. But the tool alone is not going to get you there. Just like you can't pick up a bat learn how to swing it and then expect to immediately go into the major leagues. You can't come onto a platform like Bubble, learn how to use Bubble and immediately have a successful app and business thereafter. The no-code tool is part of the solution, but it's not the only solution. If you don't come into this understanding that you're going to have to develop other skills and use other frameworks and strategies alongside a no-code platform, then you might be a little bit surprised later on. So come in with the right expectations and set yourself up for success. The second key is that you don't need a technical background to build a no-code app successfully but some skills or backgrounds are going to be more helpful for you in the process. So the first would be that you are a little bit of a tinkerer, right? You're not afraid to get your hands on things, maybe break things, and then figure out how to repair them. If you have that sort of mindset, or if you just find joy in, in getting your hands on things and figuring out how they work, that could be a major advantage when learning how to use no-code tools. Another advantage would be having a problem solver or analytical mindset, right? When you're using no-code tools, no, you're not coding, but you are programming. You're just doing it visually. And having an analytical mindset can really help you get into the nitty gritty and come out on the other side successfully. It's also really helpful to have a tactician and a visionary mindset. And sometimes you see one over the other. Sometimes you'll see entrepreneurs who are solely visionaries. They see the vision, they know what they want to be the reality, but when it comes to actually digging in and taking the steps to get there, that's where they struggle. And you see the same on the flip side, you see those 
tacticians who are really good at getting hands-on and just consistently doing the work and kind of serving as the engine. But maybe they don't have the vision and therefore all of that work might not be taking them in the right direction, right? If you can find the balance of both or if you have that skill set, that can be a major help as well. Now, do you need these skills or backgrounds? No, you can certainly be successful without them, but it's important to understand that some of these mindsets or just general understandings and practices can make the process of creating an app and a business more straightforward. So if you don't resonate with any of those skills, don't let that turn you off, but know that you're going to have to develop them as you go. The third key is when things don't work during development, don't immediately blame the platform. This is really easy to do because when something seems broken in your app and you've tried endlessly to fix it, you might just revert to thinking, well, it's the platform I'm using and not me. Usually it's on you. It's important to adopt a development and testing are equals mindset. That is what will lead you towards success with your app. And this applies to really all realms of life. I mean, imagine you sign up for a gym membership and you have the goal to become a bodybuilder. Well, if you go to the gym and you don't know how to use all the equipment there, and so you just say, well, I'm going to use the elliptical and I'm gonna use it a lot and you go and you use the elliptical every single day and then you don't make it into your first bodybuilding competition, well, you wouldn't blame the gym, would you? I know this is a little bit different, but go with it here, right? If something doesn't work, usually it's on you. And this goes back to those skills or frameworks that you're going to have to ultimately develop while you're building your app. If you want to launch a business or a startup successfully using no-code tools, know that you're going to have to dig in, get your hands dirty and tinker with things and understand that when things don't work and there will be many times when they don't, the best rule of thumb is to look inward and ask yourself what you can do differently and then try that first. The fourth key is that no-code tools alone aren't going to make you money. Strategic planning, project roadmaps, marketing and market entry points, business fundamentals, I mean, and so much more. All of those things are also required to ultimately help you make that money or build that revenue that you're after. Aside from diving really deeply into the technical components of building a no-code app with our own clients, we also provide them with those fundamentals too. We work on the strategic planning, on the product management. We work on the marketing, the market entry points, right? Those business fundamentals because they all work together. I mean, if you really think about it, there are entire roles within the larger companies that are solely dedicated to product management or project management or user experience design or marketing or sales, right? There's entire roles that are dedicated to that and you are putting on the entrepreneurial hat and right now you're handling that all on your own or maybe with a very small team and that requires a lot of sort of bending and molding on your part. All that's to say, no-code tools are not magic. They're not the magic bullet or solution that are going to negate the need for everything else. Ultimately, you have to show up with grit, determination, persistence, and patience in order to truly be successful with no-code tools. Key number five is that testing is just as important as your development. And there are multiple stages of testing that you should go through with your app. You first have to test your app as a developer while you're developing. You then need to test your app once the development is complete. You also need to have alpha testers. This is something we provide for our own clients because of how important it is to have a set of external hands and eyes going through and using the app in ways you might not have anticipated. Pilot testers, beta testers. We help our clients understand how to find these because of their importance. And pilot and beta testers are different, right? But testing, the emphasis is on testing. It is just as important, if not more, than the actual development itself. And if you don't put a really strong emphasis on the testing, then no-code tools aren't by default going to do the work for you. 
right? No code does not mean no work. You're still going to have to build and test, sometimes seemingly endlessly, but that is the nature of development, whether you're using no code tools or not. We've seen entrepreneurs and even many of our own clients completely change their career paths, uh, launch brand new businesses that are wildly successful, or even create apps that help their existing businesses scale beyond what they could have previously imagined. No code tools have helped our own business scale so much more than we otherwise would have been able to. So the next step is for you to join our free extended training over at coachingnocodeapps.com forward slash workshop, where we're going to guide you through how to use no code tools, how to use platforms like Bubble, how to strategically plan and roadmap your app, how to be successful with no code tools and how other entrepreneurs are currently launching and building and growing their own businesses with no code tools. So head to coachingnocodeapps.com forward slash workshop to join in on that extended training completely for free. We'll hope to see you there. And thanks so much for watching. We really hope this was helpful. If it was, we'd love for you to give the video a like down below. It helps us help even more people build and launch their no code apps successfully. We'll see you in the next one.